So that's the hook. Okay, let's do something cool. Hey guys, before we get into the video, I want you to hit that subscribe button right here. Jake's gonna put this right here. It's been a while. It's been a while. Everybody's talking about video marketing these days. They've been talking about it for freaking five years or longer. Video is where you gotta be right now. It's still, we're still in the prime of it. If you're not doing video, like do it now and don't miss out on this opportunity to, to get people's attention. The thing that, that people are struggling with is how do, I, how do I framework my videos? Like how should I record them? Because honestly, most videos are boring these days. Like you can't just be, you can't just do a video like just talking head just like this talking head is just super boring right i mean just imagine just imagine if, if i were doing this uh with no juggling uh not moving my hands around what if i were doing this hey guys my name is clay mosley and in today's video we're going to learn how to do video the right way if you're doing videos like that please stop doing it you gotta be like you gotta be charismatic something needs to be entertaining so in this video we're gonna i'm gonna tell you how to do videos properly so the first thing you gotta do you saw me do it is you gotta have the hook the hook is the first five seconds of the video you gotta be doing something that has movement i could be like throwing some up something in the air i could be juggling this if i had three of them i can go like this it can be a facial expression too. The home alone. My point is you gotta do something to catch someone's attention in the first five seconds and that could be movement, facial expressions. Just do something that's gonna get somebody's attention. That's your only goal for the hook. The next thing that you wanna do when you're editing your videos or recording your videos is you wanna give a little bit of a brand intro. That's your opportunity to tell people to follow you. Like right now. Follow me, subscribe. The next part of the perfect video framework is you gotta talk about the pain point. The pain point for this particular video is video suck. No one wants to be on video. I know how you feel. I used to be there. My very first video took me 32 takes before I was finally happy. I understand the struggle of video. It takes practice, but you know what? It's really good to have a checklist and a framework on how you can record your video just like this in this video that I'm explaining to you now. So just follow this framework because I know that is a huge pain point for business owners in the fact that you know you gotta market your business, you know you gotta be on video, but you're scared to be in front of the camera. The fourth part of the perfect video framework is talk about uh, your a personal story that you experienced, you, you experience and how it relates to the pain point that you just explained. So I kind of already did it. My first video, when I did it, it took me 32 takes. I was so awkward. I was so scared to be in front of the video. Thank God I was doing it just with me. I kept re-recording the video because I didn't think that it was perfect. Something was always off. This thing needed to be fixed. I didn't say this right. My voice sounds funny. I look funny, I wish I had less weight. There's all kinds of excuses that you can make. There's a million of them. So the fact is, I know how, I know how you feel. You just, you just need to press the button and just do it and practice, it makes it way easier. The fifth part is going to be your talking points. You got your hook in the first five seconds, you got your brand intro to tell people to follow you. You got your, your pain point. So the thing that is going to relate to people on why they should watch this video because the pain point's gonna pique their curiosity that will allow them to watch the rest of the video. The fourth thing is going to be your personal story. It brings you on the same level as the person that's watching the video. It makes them feel connected. There is an emotional connection there. You want the user to feel like that you are talking directly to them because that's how they wanna to relate to you on an emotional level so that way they can connect and they can watch the rest of the video. But more importantly, hopefully they'll engage with your content, go to your website and eventually buy something from you. So kind of overlapping the, the talking points with the close. So the sixth part, of the video framework is going to be the close, which I'm going to do right now. So keep the close pretty simple, don't overthink it, mention the pain point, and then summarize your talking points, and then leave it at that. So if you are afraid of video, 
and you know you need to do this as a business owner to help market your business, just go by this framework. Hit the hook in the first five seconds, do the brand intro, encourage people to follow you, talk about the pain point, talk about a personal experience that you have had in relation to the pain point, talk about three to five talking points on how to solve that pain point, and then you close the video just like this.